Welcome back. Um, so if you remember in the last video, I went with Tressa and got everything I need for her. And now I'm ready to get a full party. And so uh, let's go. So I start by getting Cyrus. So Cyrus will be a good damage dealer and he can scrutinize uh, some NPCs. So this, this will be helpful. So this is uh, why, I, why I like him. And now I go see Wyvern. So the only reason is uh, that that's my only chance to interact with this NPC. And <clears throat> I just like to uh, to steal everybody and check mark uh, everything. So um, but uh, he doesn't have much on him, so it doesn't matter really much if if you want to skip that. So now I'm I'm re-equipping the Scholar job on, on Tressa and I use the Dancer job on Cyrus and now just uh, equipping my elemental stuff on Tressa and giving the uh, Sorcerer's Robe and Empowering Necklace on, on Cyrus. So nothing complicated and now I can go straight up to the boss and just kill him uh, real fast. So as you can expect, with everything we uh, we went uh, for in the first video, uh, so those bus will be uh, <laughs> pretty easy. And basically, uh, all I need to do is uh, use my boost point on turn two and cast Blizzard, and it's all over for Russell. So this is good. And now that I have uh, Cyrus with me, uh, this will be a good opportunity to uh, to learn weaknesses from Meep and Cactus Roller. So those two enemies are uh, missables. And you need to get them before having a full party or before doing uh, any chapter two. So you can still uh, acquire the uh, the weaknesses uh, when you have three characters in your party, but uh, on my side, I just find it uh, to be a good time to do that right now. So the first enemy here in the flatland is uh, the Meep, but it's not quite uh, those ones. And Meep is weak to um, to Arrow. Um, arrow, Staff and Dark. So there it is, the enemy in front. So Arrow, Staff and Dark. And now I don't care uh, about the uh, about the end. So now I need Cactus Roller. And by the way, uh, from the uh, most recent report I had, uh, it looks like those two enemies are not required for the achievement. But uh, if you like to get the weakness anyway, uh, then uh, this is a good time to do so. So those are weak to uh, Spear, Ice and Dark. What 
And now I'm out of magic with Tressa, so uh, I'll do the kill on the next turn with Cyrus. So now I'm ready to get me my uh, my other characters. So going for uh, for for Therian, and Therian is uh, pretty good to uh, uh, for his ability to open luck chest. So all the purple chests uh, is gonna be able to open those, and in especially in tier three, there there's many of them that that are really good. So. Uh, so yeah, the Terrian is a good uh, starting character. Now I gave him the uh, the warrior job and some equipment, so uh, he has a, a bit more defense. And with Cyrus, I learned the peacock struck. So peacock struck is a buff to uh, increase elemental damage, so I buff Tressa with that and she'll deal 50% more damage. So obviously against the boss, th this will be uh, pretty helpful. And again, I go straight for the boss. You can always come back here to uh, to learn weaknesses and uh, grab the chest. So, but for the purpose of these videos, there's no point uh, to get those. Let's get this over. And again, uh, for that boss, uh, all you need to uh, to do is first cast Peacock Struck on Tressa. And on turn 2, Tressa, uh, you use just... Uh, you can use Lightning Blast or Blizzard, either one of them. Uh, fully by uh, boosted, and this should kill the... Uh, this should kill the boss. So it's pretty simple. And these three characters in uh, almost all playthrough you you do. Uh, I would argue they, they're the best to, to start with. Um, and now, depending what you're doing, uh, it may vary uh, who is the best fourth character. But uh, for what I'm doing on my side, uh, Hanit is a clear winner. So this is why uh, I'm going to get Hanit now. Basically, Anit will shine in Ma of the Ice Dragon when, when I go fight there. So it will be a little bit later, but uh, you'll see that soon enough if, if you stick with the other videos. Now, during Anit Chapter 1, you can interact with Lord Ciaran. So this is this NPC right there. So this is why I get his stuff. And he has a hidden item as well, so if you're going uh, for, the, for the achievement related to that, uh, this might be uh, pretty good to get. And I'm not 100% sure if this is required for the achievement. I would, I would think not, but uh, yeah, it, if you want to be sure, uh, just don't miss it. Now just giving her uh, some protection, so, so she doesn't die too easily. And I equipped her the um, the apothecary job. But it, this doesn't matter too much for chapter 1. Uh, in this video, uh, the, uh, I won't use it... Uh, uh, 
I won't use the apothecary job. So again, I go straight for the boss. And this is possible to kill this boss on turn 2 again. But uh, you need a better turn order than what I get here. So instead I'll be uh, killing killing this boss on turn 3. And again I use uh, Peacock Struck with Cyrus. I cast this on Tressa. And using this strategy, uh, all those chapter 1 boss are pretty easy. Now, I won't go uh, recruit uh, other party members. Uh, there's not really uh, much point in that. And if you saw uh, my, missables, my, my missable guide, uh, you know that uh, to recruit uh, Primrose and Old Beric, uh, you need to do uh, s some special things uh, with them, uh, namely uh, to uh, to steal some items. Uh, and for that, it's way better if you have the snatch support skill. So, in my opinion, it is better to uh, to start leveling up uh, with this party alone, and then when you're uh, pretty strong, uh, you can come back for those boss and get your other characters. So yeah, uh, this boss was pretty simple, just like the other one. And now depending uh, on my side, I leveled up, so I didn't need to rest here. But uh, as long as you haven't finished your chapter 1, you can always rest for free here. So I was just used to uh, using this uh, the, the hint there. So if you need it, it doesn't matter much the the cost, but uh, it's just a nice uh, <laughs> it's just nice to rest for free, I guess. So now uh, with Tarion in the party, it's time to get all the luck chest, all the purple chests, so this is what I'm doing now. So I'll go all over the world again, uh, starting in Everold Tunnels. And um, yeah, now, now that I have all the uh, teleportation point, this will be a lot faster than, than in the first video. So this is good. And now in Everold Tunnels, there's uh, three chests worth getting. Uh, one of them has uh, 35,000 gold in it. And the purple chest that, that you can see here, uh, it holds the knowledge staff. And there's also a death cleaver to, to get. Now, what you just saw here, um, I go, uh, uh, I go see the boss and decline the fight. And basically, this is just to reset the encounter rate, so I don't get any encounter. Uh, otherwise, I, I would get killed here. So yeah, between each chest, you just return to the boss and decline the fight. And now, uh, now going for the Death Cleaver, which is a super strong axe. And it will uh, make good use uh, of this. Now in Marcelium, there's a few things to go. Uh, first, I grab the uh, Critical Necklace. This isn't a super good items, but uh, I didn't figure out uh, something better for Hanit, so this is why I, I get this. And now scrutinizing this guy for City of Gold knowledge. So um, later on, I'll return to uh, Atlas Dam and share this knowledge with another NPC, and this will give me an alluring ribbon.
Now I get this luck chest for 20,000 gold and now in Marcelim Catacomb. So this is where I'm going now. Uh, there's gonna be a Viper Dagger. So this is a pretty good uh, dagger for Therion. It gives speed and uh, this will be uh, extremely good when we go in Ma of the Ice Dragon. So that was about it for the Sunland, now in the Riverland. I start in uh, St. Bridge and I go to Far Shore, the dungeon uh, in this area. Now as you can see uh, I wasn't exactly uh, clutch with my movement so if you do better uh, you should avoid uh, this encounter here. And I could kill those enemies, but uh, I didn't care at all, so uh, I ran away uh, instead. Now in Far Shore, what we want is uh, just cross the the bridge. Not this one, but uh, right after this guy, and go down. So there's a little hidden path and a pretty good chest there. So now going to Refuge Rune and there's the Forbidden Blade in there in another luck chest. Now it's not over uh, with this area so now I'm going to the um, Shrine of the War Master. And there's another good chest in there with uh, 30 amount, uh, 30,000 gold in it. As you can see, uh, most purple chests uh, in tier 3 are pretty good. So I kind of go uh, to, uh, uh, to most uh, tier 3 area and get, uh, and get the good stuff with Therian. And now here in Dragonsong Fane, uh, I get the Holy Longbow. And this will be uh, pretty good when I go uh, to Ma of the Ice Dragon. Again, the, this will be a nice place to fight later on. And now the chest I go for in the Derelict Mine. I could have got the, gotten the, this chest in the last video. But, uh, but yeah, um, I just need it to buy everything I need and there's uh, 10,000 gold in here. So when, uh, when this video will end, I won't have uh, much money uh, remaining. So all the golds count and uh, yeah. I make uh, good use of it. Here the Robe of Flame. So this is a pretty good armor to get. It gives a bonus to your SP. So I like a lot the uh, armor that gives uh, that, that increase your elemental attack. 
but uh, in the early level that that's what I prefer but uh, later on when uh, when I have a few level up uh, I prefer um, the robe of flame uh, having more SP at one point is uh, is better in my opinion so yeah this this zone the this area is pretty dangerous uh, if you're unlucky you can get an encounter but uh, if that happens it doesn't matter too much you just retry your luck like I'll do right there so no problem So just be sure to have good movement in here and you should make it with a just a little just a little bit of luck. And here in the shrine of the Archmagus, um you you need really really good movement to get the two to to get the two chests in one uh, in one go. And this is what I'm this is what I'm doing, so uh, so uh, yeah, uh, cut your corners, uh, very good. So there's good money in it, and the wizard's uh, wizard rod in this purple chest. So this will be good as well. Now in this barrel you want to scrutinize this lady and this will unlock the force shield at the shop and this is what uh, I'll be using uh, on three of my characters so Cyrus, Tyrion and Hanit so this is why I, I buy three of them And now at this point uh, I was just a little bit confused. I wasn't sure uh, I grabbed the uh, the chest in town, but uh, I remembered uh, right after. So, uh, but uh, just go to moldering runes here. Now there's two things to do here. Uh, first, get the sprightly necklace uh, from this guy. And now return back to save your game. So uh, because the the chest we want is a is a bit far away. So uh, starting from the save point, uh, it will uh, give uh, better chances. So in this purple chest there's the Hypno Crown and it's a it's an item similar uh, similar of the uh, Roba Flame it gives uh, SP so that's a pretty good helmet Now in Still Snow you uh, provoke this guy he is part of a side quest and when you beat it, it will give you a, a, an alluring ribbon. So this is pretty good stuff to get. And it's pretty easy. Uh, he has uh, somewhere around uh, 600 uh, HP, so you don't need much to kill him. So now going to Ma of the Ice Dragon to get the purple chest. 
but uh, I know I mentioned earlier uh, we will fight there, but uh, not we're not quite ready uh, yet. So just to get uh, the adamantin hat in there. And this helmet is the uh, the very best helmet to raise your uh, elemental damage. So Cyrus will love that. Now going to the Forest of Purgation. Uh, this will be a, a destination to fight uh, much later on. Uh, this is the best area to, um, to gain EXP. So on average this is the most rewarding uh, area for EXP. But uh, you need quite a lot uh, before, uh, before fighting here. So there's a forbidden dagger to get and some money in the other chest. So remember uh, we scrutinize uh, someone in uh, Marsalium to get uh, forbidden gold. A city of gold. Not, not the same uh, and so you share this with this uh, NPC and she'll she'll reward you with a with an alluring ribbon so now in gold shore I purchased the Dragon's Vest, it has na nice uh, stats on it, and the Forbidden Bow, for even more, um, to increase even more the encounter rate. And now the, this chest, uh, I grabbed it, but uh, at this point uh, I have everything I need, so you don't have to uh, if you don't want. So now going to uh, the Tomb of King. So this is where I I'll start the uh, grinding part. And um, this will be the topic for the next video. So I'm, ab I'm about to wrap up this one and uh, as soon as I save the uh, on the save point, um, the this is where uh, this is where this video will end. So see you in the next one. Bye.